Good evening, everyone. It's uh, what an exciting evening in Harper. You stand with us and all of you here to welcome to our great uh, city and to our city of Connecticut. You know, I have to tell you a funny story. When, uh, Do my job. Came, all right, so this is what I'm saying. Come down, I'm right here. I'm going up there. Come down, I'm right here. 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 Uh, we are very proud of what you've achieved, uh, and uh, we hope that you spend a lot of time back here on the day. I have an official citation from the governor that I'd like to read, and uh, just bear with me for one second. We're as arguably one of the most gifted athletes on the planet in mid-name lightning bolts. on August 21st, 1986, and has been running since the age of 10. And whereas Bolt was a fast cricket bowler when he was younger, and began his successful career at age 14 with his outstanding performance at the regional championships in Western Jamaica and at national meets in Houston and Caribbean. And whereas at age 15, Bolt stunned the crowd of 36,000 at his country's 2002 IAFF World Junior Championship, where he won the 200 meter final in 20.65 seconds, making him the youngest ever male World Junior Champion. Both holds the world record for 15 and 16 year olds and the world's recent World Junior Records. Bolt signed his first professional contract at age 17, and on June 21st, 2007, garnered international attention when he crossed the finish line at the 200 meter in 19.75 seconds, breaking the national 200 meter record by Olympic legend Don McQuarrie, Bolt's hero, and the same year earning two silver medals at the World Championship in Osaka, Japan. And whereas in the 2008 Olympics, Bolt rewrote the history books in Beijing. Come on, let's hear that. Where he broke three world records. First in the 100 meter, becoming the first man since Carl Lewis to sweep in the 100 meter and 200 meter. Then breaking Michael Johnson's 12 year old record. and finally running the third leg of Jamaica's 4x100 relay, handed off to Asa Powell, who brought him home for the goal. Whereas on his return to Jamaica, Bolt was honored in a homecoming celebration and received an order of distinction of his achievement at the Olympics. He was selected as the AFF Male Athlete of the Year and won a special Olympic award for performance. And whereas the Hartford Cricket Hall of Fame is honored to host Usain Bolt and recognizes his many efforts and contributions to the world. Therefore, I am Jody Rell. It's really not much how long you're here tonight. <laughs> Governor of the state of Connecticut, do hereby be placed on September 28, 2009, as Usain Bolt Day in the state of Connecticut. Now, along with that, I'd also like to give Usain. You saw not only the keys to Hartford, but the you saying, I'm sorry, but also the keys to the state of Connecticut. Yeah.
beyond that. Thank you very much. Let's get, I'm the fastest man in the world. Welcome to Hartford. 